The video you just saw was my entry into the Sony Vlog Challenge 2021 and the theme for this year was enter my world. So I literally took you throughout my day on a typical day from morning till night, essentially entering you into my world. But there's a catch to it. I'm a filmmaker based in Japan and my world revolves around creating videos. So I essentially want to take you throughout the process of making a video from planning it, shooting it, finally editing it because that's where my world is. I love the whole process of creating a video and I wanted to take you guys throughout that process and essentially take you guys into my world of making videos. The first step for any creative endeavor is the idea. That is the foundation, the base. For me, the idea came to me <laughs> at a very weird time because I was almost off to sleep. I was in bed scrolling to Instagram and I saw the Sony vlog challenge post on Instagram and I thought, wait a minute, I love making vlogs. It's a vlog challenge and maybe I should enter. And immediately I looked at the theme, saw the videos and the theme was enter my world. And I came up with a rough idea. I put it like this on my notes app and then I just got a base, basic structure thinking that, okay, I want to take people through my entire day with a POV style video, which was inspired by a video Cinecom uh, YouTube channel did. So I thought, why not I do this, take people through the whole, uh, my whole day. And that would be the foundation that will take me to the next step. The next step is writing. So for me, writing can be divided into two parts. Firstly, we have to give a structure to that base, the idea we had. So for me, the idea was um, taking people throughout my day with a POV style video. But the problem with that is that that's a really simple way of looking at it. That would be just a one minute video, good enough for social media, but not serving the purpose of storytelling. So if you know about storytelling, any story has a basic structure. Like if you put it really simple, beginning, beginning middle and end, or set up conflict and resolution. So whatever way you interpret it, you have to put your idea into a format where people can go through the whole video, you can carry them through. If you think about storytelling as a linear process from point A to point B, that's okay, but there has to be more to it so that you can help people create a bridge and join point A to point B. So your job as a video maker or editor is to take people from point A to point B. So yes, my idea was a POV style video, but then I thought more and I put it into a structure of beginning, middle and end. Beginning was that short video that you saw. Middle was me explaining how videography or video editing is my world. And finally showing you how I made the video. So that was my beginning, middle and end. So after I wrote all that down, the next step was to write down the short list. So whenever you made, make a video after your script, if you shoot the video, you have to make a short list of what kind of shots you need for a video and for this video especially for the first uh, short video so I had to write down 24 shots for different parts of my day 24 short lists that I needed to take throughout my day so it was like a vlog style video I had to record throughout my day and take those shots whenever I was doing that particular activity so a lot of work to do but that's step two you give your idea structure, you write down the script, and then you write down your short list, and then you move to step three. The third step is finally shooting your video. And that is something I love to do, picking up the camera and shooting a video. So I was ready to take up the challenge. And since it was a vlog box style video, I had to pick one day where I would record from morning till night. So I recorded the whole video POV style and also did some BTS, which you can see now. Okay, right now we'll do the first shot of the video where I'm basically waking up from bed and looking at my phone. So let's see how it goes. I just woke up. <laughs> let's do one more just in case. Okay, see how it is. So 
as you could see the shots were challenging some were easy but i had a lot of fun <laughs> like every shot i took it was exciting to set up the shot then take the shot then review my footage and that is essentially my world like reviewing the footage taking it again and trying to get the best shot i could get it was a lot of fun but after i had all the footage ready the next step was to go to the editing the final step is to edit the video which is a lot of fun <laughs> i keep on saying that i enjoy every process of making a video but the editing is a lot of fun <laughs> one more time but i think editors are really underrated when you uh, look at uh, when you watch a famous movie you think about the actors you maybe know the directors but editors they are really underrated you never know who edited the most famous video uh, movies unless you are someone an editor yourself or you're in the creative field other than that not many people know the editors but the editors are a really important part of the process of making a video and i myself love to edit videos so instead of talking let's jump into the computer and i'll show you how i put all that footage into my editor and turn it into something presentable this is take two because i forgot to record my screen the first time i recorded the video anyways this is the editing part we are in final cut pro i have been editing a final cut pro for almost five years now and I'm not going to take you through the whole process of editing a video that's going to become a tutorial. I'm just going to talk about the different layers you put on a video for pressing publish. So first thing you do is you import all your footage. So the footage you're seeing right now is after I have imported them and spliced out parts that I want to use and parts that were mistakes. So that bit takes some time. If you have talking headshots, it's not going to take much time. But if you are doing uh, edits where there are transitions, like the first bit of the video, well, you have to really fine tune, go in, zoom in and mess around with transform and scaling, cropping. So for this part, for example, and it really match the bowl here on the dis different shots so that it makes one smooth seamless transition. So yeah, the first step is import, uh, splice up the parts that you need and mess with transition if you have to put the transitions in. And the next part depends on the editor and the type of video you're making. For this video, what I needed to do was sound design first. So the sound design, the music gives the feel of the video, the sound effect adds to the effect of the video. So for the talking head part, I just needed a really uh, lo-fi, really uh, slow music that would go with the background, uh, that would be a background music. But for the first bit, I need to needed to find something that was fast paced because as you could see, it was a really fast edit. So the music complemented the edit and the sound effects you see here, the small ones, these are to add to the effects of the transitions. So you really need to practice and learn how to do sound design. I have been doing it for a long time now and I have a hang of it, but I, I obviously can learn more and do better and better. But this is what I did with this video, sound design. And after this layer, next up is titles and animations and B-roll. I put them all together just to make three layers. But yeah, you have the B-roll or text first. So that so here you have the animations that no one will care about. Only I will care because I didn't put major animations. But these small things I put, like the beginning of here where I press the button and this one, these are for me. <laughs> I, I don't think the audience will notice much. But then there's for the talking headshot, there's the text I put to emphasize on the topics I'm talking about, the images for the topics I'm talking about. So that really adds to the video when you're having talking headshots, you don't want just talking head. You should put some layers to make it more interesting. And then I put this screen recording for the uh, intro of the video. But yeah, the final step is putting the different layers together and making it all come together for the final edit and although i explained this in i think less than two minutes but this is really a long process the more you edit the faster you get but you need to do multiple drafts to finally come up the video that you're seeing right now so yeah that's editing and that is essentially how a video goes from idea stage to finally being published on the internet even though as a consumer you just see one or two minutes of a short video but there's a lot of work that goes behind it and that is essentially my world as a videographer video editor making videos is what i do and i love doing it the whole process and finally i'm happy that i could press publish on this particular project and i'll move on to the next one i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below if you are a filmmaker yourself or you're trying to get into it and let's have a chat and i hope you subscribe to the channel and 
I hope I can <laughs> win this uh, challenge. I, uh, I don't know if I will, but that vlog camera of Sony looks a perfect fit for me. I love vlogging, so let's see if we can win that. But either way, win or lose, I had a lot of fun making a video because making videos is what I do and I love doing it.